a lot of time the professionals that I'd be working with or interviewing um, can inform the character for me. I would pick up, like you had mentioned, like special ticks or even language. Um, and then I would try and get into their minds and like, give me the dirty secrets. You know, I think a lot of younger writers will get this wrong. that they think I have a story and I need to talk to a doctor or private eye to fill in the blanks of my story. Okay. That's not why you're talking to them. I don't, I think why we're, why you talk to them, ideally you do all the research first. And what you're going when you interact with somebody is when you're writing a character, you want to pull on the mask that is the character and see the world through their eye holes. You want to know how they see the world, what they track, how their brain works, how they break things down. Like you said, ticks, turns of phrases right? Approaches to things. Yeah. Even better if it's an approach to something professionally that might have a different, that might be applied elsewhere, you know? Right. And so I wrote a medical thriller. I grew up in a medical family and I, I wrote about my dad will constantly look if there's a waiter we would have as a certain age growing up with a certain kind of limp, my dad would say that's probably polio. Like he saw the whole world as a physician. Interesting. And so when I write a character, th those are those little details of the ways that they engage with everything. And yeah. so you're going out to the field, you're going to talk to people who know more about something than you do. Cause as writers, we're sort of these little feeding dilettantes, <laughs> you know, in hopes that, that we can understand the ways in which our characters engage with the world and right. see and think and feel. And so we're opening to opportunity rather than closing to it.